Our own vigilance at watching our own skin is probably the most powerful tool. We've just about all got a mobile phone with a camera on it. So if you see something on your skin and you think, hey, is that new? Is, is, is that just the same old thing that was there ages ago? Taking a photo of it that might have uh, a ruler or something beside it. Waiting a fortnight, take another photo, see if it's changed. Wait a month after that, take another photo. Now you've got six weeks change on that lesion. Changing your skin is probably the most important thing that would alert us to the presence of a melanoma. So there may be a mole, a pre-existing mole that's been present for many, many years and it may change in its colour, size, thickness, or it may bleed, uh, become itchy, or it may develop some multicoloured areas within it, there being perfectly normal skin and a new lesion just erupting out of that. Not all of the melanomas that we see are classical moles. About one in five of the melanomas that we see and treat have no pigment at all. These will only just have a little reddish colour to them and be raised like a lump. In other words, just look like something innocuous that you're allowed to have. But most of those simple conditions, if you wait about a fortnight, they're gone. But a melanoma won't be. We have had uh, great leaps and bounds come ahead with what's called digital dermoscopy. And uh, that means looking with light and magnification at the skin and no longer with analog, but rather with digital. So the, the image can be manipulated and looked at not only by a human, but by a machine. The surgical treatments have altered. We've had the standardization of sentinel node biopsies part of our surgery. We have minimised completion surgery so that we don't overdo the removal of lymph glands. New things continually appear on our treatment regimens. Care to Share, brought to you by Budrum Private Hospital, because your health matters.